Singapore's success has been possible because of the emphasis on quality education for all learners. Education must prepare our next generation with strong values and skills to take on the challenges of tomorrow. In an ever-changing world, how do we help our students thrive and positively shape Singapore's future? The continuous renewal of our successful schooling system is pivotal. Researchers at the National Institute of Education have been working alongside the Singapore schools and the Ministry of Education to nurture students' 21st century skills, values and strengths, to enhance teachers' professional competencies and to drive curriculum innovations. The importance of educating for 21st century skills is now well recognised, but currently we have limited empirical knowledge about how to effectively assess and foster these competencies in our students. My research focuses on developing new ways of formatively assessing 21st century skills and using these in ICT enriched learning spaces that provide timely feedback for our students to practise and cultivate these skills. This project is important because we actually collect data amongst about 2,000 students in Singapore. So our teachers are actively involved in this as well. And it gives us, again, insights into our local context. We are already starting to see the fruits of this research that we have conducted in partnership with MOE. The framework that we have developed and validated for identifying through students' dialogue the creative competencies and critical competencies and pro-social collaborative competencies. We have been able to apply this framework into another project, We Read, where students are asked to collaboratively critique texts online and their interactions online are mapped out for them. Over the past about eight weeks, I've seen the quality of comments and the quality of talk improve mm. among the students. Mm. The other thing that I felt was uh, really good was when they looked at the learning analytics map and they realised a lot of things about themselves. So what was really gratifying was when they asked me, uh, teacher, will this map change if I were to participate more? So that was a very strong signal that they were motivated to want to do more and to be more engaged in what they're doing. The research partnership allows us to tap into your expertise in terms of the theoretical underpinnings and learning theories. And using that and designing lessons to be able to develop 21st century skills, I think this is something that we have already benefited from. Preparing our students for life goes beyond developing knowledge and skills. We must also nurture values and dispositions that can help them thrive in a fast-changing and complex world. I believe that resilience can be developed, it can be taught, and it can be learned. My research is about understanding and fostering resilience among students placed at risk. What I like about the study is that it has a strength-based approach. And um, this is very important because often the world of the, our struggling learners is a deficit-driven one. I think that positive emotions can serve as a fertile ground to grow personal resources that are important for developing resilience. I feel that many of the youth of today, they take a lot of things for granted. It may be good for them to develop such uh, positive emotions through the probably the host of activities that this research study can offer them. I think the graduate lesson packages are good because it helps them to have a lot of activities in their groups and find within themselves reasons to be happy and not always feel bad about their situation. This activity is quite fun and exciting and it's because we're talking about our loved ones and friends, especially our families, um, I kind of feel there's peace. The teacher plays a critical role in promoting positive learning outcomes. How do we prepare our teachers to be powerful agents of 21st century teaching and learning? In 2009, the research team saw the importance of providing an evidence base that can help inform the policy and practice of both pre-service teacher education as well as teachers' early career professional development. Therefore, we started a suite of research projects to study teacher learning across the continuum. We hope that the findings from our work can contribute to the continual review 
and enhancement of initial teacher education programs as well as to guide professional teacher development practices. We hope that this will ultimately strengthen NIE as well as MOE's efforts in developing effective teachers for 21st century schools and classrooms. The outcomes of the project have helped us with the work related to profession development for our educators and uh, the recent findings from the project have provided evidence and affirmed some of the HR practices that we have implemented for our beginning teachers, especially in the area of mentoring. This is aligned with our deep commitment and effort to further prepare our teachers to develop our students with 21st century learners. Is there increasing readiness in our system for curriculum innovation in Singapore schools and classrooms? We wanted to know how the school-based curriculum can have direct impact on the quality of teaching and learning, especially in the system of Singapore, which is highly centralised. Two main driving factors that we uncovered in the process are the shift of mindsets of teaching and learning and also building a collaborative culture among the teachers. Having IT in Chinese lesson really helped me to have a better critical thinking skill because this is a group work, it's not just individuals. It was collided with many other of my classmates and they give their own ideas and we discuss about which ideas is the best and maybe we can have a combined idea and a better one which we can write for our compo. With the questions that are asked by the NIE researchers, it has also allowed our teachers as well as our school leaders, myself, uh, and my vice principals to think about why we do certain things that we are doing and some of the benefits that it has given to our students. Through that, we can also tweak some of the programs so that it can bring about better learning for our students to help them prepare for the 21st century. We really have the same goal, that is to really to help our children prepare for the future. In Juing, we really believe in very synergistic and a very authentic partnership. And we see NIE as our strategic partner. It is also a time where we can bridge theory and practices together. So it, this is a wonderful opportunity and we are really thankful for it. Building on the tripartite partnership with schools and policymakers, NIE will press on with our collective pursuit to shape a positive future for all in Singapore.